Officials deny reports of a tentative deal between Hamas and Israel as Doha warn of damaging media leaks. The much-awaited Qatar Bahrain bridge project is finally back on track. And finally, more shadow banning online as Israel asks Meta and TikTok to remove pro-Palestine content. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Reports of an alleged agreement between Hamas and Israel have been debunked by top officials involved in the talks. On Saturday, the Washington Post reported on an alleged tentative deal that would secure the release of dozens of captives in exchange for a temporary cessation of hostilities over the next few days. However, a source familiar with the matter told Doha News that the report is false. U.S. National Security Council spokeswoman Adrian Watson also said, quote, We have not reached a deal yet, but we continue to work hard to get to a deal. On Sunday, Qatar's Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani warned against media leaks on the ongoing negotiations, which could hinder progress. Now, a massive project connecting GCC neighbors Qatar and Bahrain is set to recommence following a years-long pause. The move was announced following a meeting between Qatar's Sheikh Mohammed and Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The 40-kilometer bridge will see road travel time between the two GCC states cut down from 5 hours to just 30 minutes. And finally, Israel has reportedly scrambled to suppress pro-Palestine content online. Israel's prosecutor office confirmed that it had requested the removal of 8,000 pro-Palestine Palestine content from Meta and TikTok, the majority of which has been removed. The move comes after numerous outlets confirmed a sharp decline in support for Israel online. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.